Hello dear students. Change your life today. Don't grumble on the future. Act now without delay. Every new day brings up with it another chance to change your life. So don't miss this chance. Utilize it to the best. With this positive note, let us begin today. We take up correct use of words. Yes, correct use of words. Now, S-O-L-E, soul. The word soul here means only. For example, she is the sole owner of this house. The only owner of the house. Yes? Next, S-O-U-L. Again pronounced as soul, but it means spiritual part of a human being. Yes? You know, the soul within you. Next, T-E-N-O-R, tenor, it means settled on prevailing cause of direction, it means a pattern, a course of direction, yes, next, tenure, it means a period of holding, a certain period of time. Next, wave, to forego voluntarily. It means that it is not a biased rule. Wave, to move hand to and fro. In greeting, that is, you wave at someone. Next, W A Y, way. It means road, the way. Yes. Next, way. This W E I G H. Way means measure. Yes, you weigh fruits. Yes, it's the measure. Next word, W-E-T, wet. It means soaked with. That is, your clothes become wet, isn't it? When it gets Soaked with water. W-H-E-T, wet means increase your interest in. Yes, when there is an increase in your interest in something. Yes, it is W-H-E-T, wet. Now, we will fill in the blanks with Words having the same pronunciation but their spelling and meanings are different. They are known as homophones. She is the dash proprietor of the firm. Now, what will you put here? It will be S O L E soul. Next, they believe in the immortality of the dash. Here we will put S O U L soul. Next, she was the peaceful dash of his life. What will we put here? T-E-N-O-R, tenor. And 
And in this sentence, during her dash in office, there was peace. Here the word will be T-E-N-U-R-E, tenure. Next, he dashed his claims in her favor. We will put W-A-I-V-E-D, waved. Next sentence, he dashed his sword in the air. Here you will write W-A-V-E-D. Next sentence. She had an accident on her dash to work. Here you will put W-A-Y-V. Please dash the vegetables. Here you will put W-E-I-G-H way. Next, her clothes were dash. Her clothes were W-E-T wet. The book will dash your appetite for more of her books. Here you will put W-H-E-T wet. Now I'll give you the answers of the previous assignment. Answers of the questions on page number 181. A part number 1. He's too weak to lift that box. Number 2. There were no trees in the desert. Number 3. Rita dedicated herself to her job in an exemplary manner. Number 4. The robber got away with money and gold without being caught. Number 5. It had never occurred to me to ask my uncle for advice. Number 6. This offer is available only till 15th October. Number 7. It's time we should leave for the trip. Number 8. The prisoners were being treated well by the army. Number 9. She asked the brothers if they both worked together. Number 10. In spite of help from his friends, he lost the competition. Answer of the B part. Number 1. Down. Number 2. Up. Number 3. 2. Number 4. Along. Number 5. Down. Number 6. 4. Number 7. Down. Number 8. Out. Number 9. Out. Number 10. Up. Answers of the C part. Number 1. Are known. Number 2. Lives. Number 3. Seen. Number 4. Hopping. Number 5. Picks. Number 6. Pecks. Number 7. Are called. Number 8. Perform. Number 9. Feeding. Number 10. Are. Question 4A part number 1. Sit. Perch. Number 2. Love affection. Number 3. Show indicate. Number 4. Strange queer. Second part. Number 1. The grandmother was inclined to grant her grandson's request for money. Number 2. The suspect was last seen covers Conversing with an old man outside a restaurant. Number three. The treaty became invalid because it was not ratified. Number four. Several of his friends had their hands in his success. Answers of the B part. Number one. The old man and the child spent 
the afternoons in Kensington Gardens, lying down near a shrub, leaning above the water, stretched on their stomach, watching a beetle and sometimes on their backs, watching the sky. At times they would also feed crumbs to the birds. Number two, the old man was ordinarily dressed but his face and eyes seemed to shine brightly. Though his dress showed no signs of wealth or affluence, he aroused a keen interest. Number three, the landlady had a grudge against the old man for housing stray invalid animals in his room. When he fell ill from pneumonia, she blamed the animals for his condition and drove them out of the house. Number four. The animals perceived the old man to be their protector. When he died, some of the animals perished while some went missing in search of him. Now the C part. You have to write one word in each box. The old man had deep love for the animals and birds, especially stray and invalid. He used to rescue them and bring them to his room and look after them till they were fit. His strays too loved him and saw him as their protector. Once he got his feet wet while rescuing a stray, fell ill and died. His last wish was also for his animals and accordingly his ex-employer Jackson took the custody of his strays after his death. The animals and birds were so deeply affected that they either died or went missing, having lost their protector. Class 11, your assignment for today is... Please do page number 188, 189, 192 and 193 of your total English book. My dear students, I would like to say once again, the only way people will know you is the belief, the thing that you say and the things that you do. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. Stay safe.